My name is Sarah Rowan and I am a speed painter and speaker. Every year for my birthday, I'll take the opportunity of growing older and create a work of art that reflects on where I am as a human, as a mother, as a lover. Right now, I'm going to do a self-portrait of how I see myself currently as I embark on this 40th year of life. And in the process, I have realized I'm kind of rebranding myself as a lot of people do around their 40th year and stripping away and loosening up and uh, just relaxing a bit with life. And I'm quite excited to paint it flat for you guys. That'll be different. It is really hard to talk and paint at the same time. I personally have found art to be the most cathartic way to tap into what I'm thinking and feeling when words just can't express it. Whether I take a big black marker and go, <sighs> if I stab a canvas with a knife, whatever emotions I'm feeling, I'm able to express them. It's, it's just a beautiful form of connecting to yourself and unearthing who you really are. For the past five, six years, I have been performing in the bow tie, the vest, and even like tails and suit, and just been all dressed to the corporate max. And last year when COVID hit, all the spare time, and I'd go on bushwalks, and I started doing yoga and meditation, and there was just this stripping away of this corporate, almost facade of who I was and who I was trying to be. And it was just this beautiful journey of just the simplicity that I think a lot of us experienced during lockdown. We're coming out of it and I'm starting to do events. Part of me is going, you know, do I want to go back to that corporate look or do I just want to rebrand and just be simple? Like when I first started painting live and all I had was a t-shirt and jeans on and I look at these videos of me performing in some really corporate maxed out things and there I was in just a t-shirt, but there was this simplicity and beauty in, in it that I feel like I've lost in the process of trying to become like this star in the art world. It is definitely a ongoing conversation in my head between wanting to make what I feel like painting and wanting to and needing to paint what will pay rent that week. I'm a full-time artist um, and when you're a mother as well, you have that pressure to pay bills and be an adult, right? And I find myself in that battle of going, I wanna paint something, some weird trippy shit. I don't know if it's gonna sell. Do I paint that or do I paint the pretty thing that the average middle class mother's gonna go, oh, that's gonna look perfect on my wall. Past Sarah would just have said, well, why would you ever paint anything than what's on your heart to paint? Why are you operating in fear? Which I have to laugh at because one of the creative like rules of thumb is to live beyond fear. Here I have been speaking on it for years, but I've allowed my own fear and insecurities to rule me when I should just take a leap of faith and just paint what I want. <laughs> In many respects, I'm still that caged animal because there is so much art inside of this crazy head of mine <laughs> that I haven't gotten out of my system that, um, Sorry, just love watching paint drip. Um, that it's like a process. I think there in many respects, I'm still that caged animal. And I think that's okay. I think we all have areas in our lives where we, we just wanna just really just grow and expand. How's the portrait going? It's weird as F. You can swear. It's weird as fuck y'all. <gasps> I am taking like a little leap in time to how I currently feel about myself. That last portrait I did was the caged bird, the animal not realizing that she was in a cage. And now I feel like I am set free. I'm the bird set free. So I've got a bird coming out of my decapitated head and it's a lot of fun. I'm gonna be holding my head with my hand and kind of like observing myself as an outsider, so to speak. That whole finding my voice of who I am and just enjoying the process of the journey of it and not feeling like there's gotta be a deadline. If I could go back 20 years, 
I would shake myself by the shoulders and say, don't let any adult, no matter how much you respect their life opinion, don't let anybody tell you who you are and try to shape you. Find your own voice. I would have sh shaken that 20 year old girl and said, stop people pleasing. Stop looking to everybody else for approval. Love yourself now, freaking be yourself now. Um, and it's gonna be okay. Twenty years. I'll be sixty. Sixty will be the new forty. By then, <laughs> um, I hope I'm more, e even more grounded. I hope I care even less about what people think that by that point there will be no fear in painting whatever the freak I feel like painting regardless of whether people like it or buy it and it's just me and my journey and heck I, I would love to be teaching art I'd love to be um, really open to the possibilities of other life paths as well and not be so set on what I've seen for my life and just be a lot more open to other beautiful opportunities that may present themselves thank you Better? We might be able to work out a contract. Right.